Even. <laughs> you quit worried about your fucking hair. Are we are we missing a light? No, we got that one and that one. We got them all on. It's dim, isn't it? It's probably because that screen is blue and it's usually like all white with the background of Maybe. the YouTube video. It seems it seems dimmer. It's weird. We're missing something, but we're not. Huh? Because I know you can't see the thing, but we're dimmer. Or... Yeah. How? Is it just this? Yeah, it is. I think it's just that. Weird the angle that I'm looking at. I don't know. Now it looks fine. Okay. <laughs> and welcome to the white hill. All right, welcome back. We're... So we tried to watch Troll 2. This isn't our official prelude review. Yeah. This is like point five. So uh, I downloaded it earlier today, and it had it had some type of like funny commentary. It I don't know like, if it was direct, just kind of like some, some commentary. It would have been like if me and you were watching two assholes it. like us. <laughs> exactly. So we couldn't watch the film that way because we couldn't hear the dialogue. All right. we heard was a commentary. Fortunately, he showed up an hour earlier because now it's like three hours yeah. later. Um, I suggested to Whitey, hey, how about I show up at five o'clock yeah. so we can have time to watch the film. 7.05. Yeah. We've watched 20 minutes. Yeah. Then it tells. So I had to download another, torrented another thing. And it, it was the same one. Viruses all. Yeah. And then finally another one. We got another one that works, but like the one that we tried before is Virus City. Now I'm doing a systems restore because it totally destroyed my fucking computer. So if you can't see in the background, right now Windows 7 is doing restore. Yeah, at least it says it's restoring, so it was initi initializing earlier. Uh, so it's a, a clusterfuck. Um, 20 minutes in, what are your thoughts so far? I'm having more fun watching you die slowly in your chair watching this than watching the actual film. This this movie is, uh, well, they said it was shite, and it is shite. Um, it's really bizarre. Mm -hmm. And there's like films where it's like, okay, they didn't have a budget, and they didn't it have shows. This. It shows. It shows. It does, but even within its budgetary constraints, it's like, why would you make these choices? Exactly. And um, The acting is shit. Yeah, the only the, the best actor was the homeless guy that was the standing. Homeless guy. <laughs> the homeless guy standing on the side of the road. Like, Stop that! And then, okay, I don't mind Grandpa yet. Grandpa's fine, but he's Grandpa like, shit. Yeah, okay, <laughs> shit in the head. The kid, the kid shit. Here's the thing: if the kid was doing a commercial, I'd be like, yeah, it's a good commercial kid. If the kid was a bit player in an '80s film, I'd be like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. He's the fucking lead, he's and that's why it's a horrible idea to mm -hmm. take this annoying. Everything he says is in a whine. Mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, honestly, this isn't hey. a joke. He, he and the, the way he presents himself and acts, he reminds me of like my three and a half year old daughter. <laughs> how she would have a conversation with you. <sighs> um, the mother is terrifying looking. The mother is terrifying. The dad seems like a nice guy. The dad seems fine. Like, and I mentioned when we were watching, it, you know, he seems like a generally cool guy in the mm -hmm. in the documentary. I, it seems like he's trying his best. Yes. But he's not over trying, overcompensating for like the no. shit script. So he's coming off pretty natural. He's yes, but he's still not a great actor. But here's the thing. Oh, he's a dentist. This is this all. We got to step back because all those details fit into the framework of the film. Is apparently the the director is who? Some Italian guy. Some Italian guy. He's Italian like or German? German. What are the so the, look it up. It, it, it says we're going to Borgen Schmorgen. They're going to Nilbog. No bug. Okay, they're they're running around. The first the first thing you see, Grandpa. And, okay, so and here's another thing, it's like the film begins mid scene, so it's yeah, just you, like some you thought, dude. You thought your link. Yeah, was bad. I, I thought that the torrent that I took was, like was missing the first five minutes. No, no, no. Okay. That's the beginning of the film. It's directed by Claudio Fragrasso. Yeah. But he is credited as Drake Floyd. Whatever. Jesus <laughs> Christ. So the point and is... He's from Rome, Italy. Oh, God. Don't... So the point is, 
Um, you've got this guy running around in a leader hose, and it's supposed to be somebody's ancestor. There's Grandpa narrating it. He's reading a storybook. But where's like the opening credits? Where's yeah, I know, but he's like mid sentence. Yeah, we, we get we get we get the MGM like logo, oh, logo yeah. and then suddenly Grandpa's immediately talking, and the guy's and running. It, so like, if if you remember uh, infinitely better film, which was uh, Princess Bride, Princess Bride, like Grandpa sits down with Timmy, Fred Savage, and he's yeah. going to read him a story. You need that, but and I know Grandpa's. You, oh, spoilers! Grandpa's dead, and Timmy's talking to the ghost. But at least have Timmy jerking off or something, and Grandpa interrupts him. Maybe not that severe. But well, they were had, the, they had the older sister jerking off or something because they mentioned you know because the old, the older sister is like working out and they had yeah. that workout scene where she's like doing the, the dumbbell. Do some have an establishing shot of the house. Mm -hmm. Little Timmy goes to lay down. You hear Grandpa's voice. And you go, oh, Grandpa's reading, and read him a book. He starts reading him the book, you know, tell the story, blah, 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 blah. And then you find out later, okay. But it's like mid-sentence. Yeah. It's a very odd choice. But the, it seems like this it, is it, clearly... This it is, honestly looked like a bad, just a bad editing job. I, yeah, but for tw for a quarter million. But a and quarter million in 80s money, which is probably five, six million now mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. But in any event, it's clearly written for Europe. Not written for the United States, mm -hmm. and so when they sh they shoot this stuff, we're <coughs> going to the scary. It's like you're going to uh, the woods somewhere in Europe. It's mm -hmm. very scary and old feeling, and then it's shot in a, the the California mountains. Yeah, that's not scary at all, and it's it's like California mountains, very uh, semi arid, desertish, mm -hmm. not a lot of trees, very bright, well lit. Whereas, like, if you were the Hurkin Forest and heard it, Hurkin Forest in Germany, I don't know the fuck you say that. Yeah. Very dark, very mm -hmm. dense. Once you're inside those woods, it's very mm -hmm. ominous. So it's like the moment they film this thing in the United States, it lost mm -hmm. its spooktitude. Yeah. And so there's the scene where they're driving out there, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, it's spooky. And oh, there's a guy. Like, if that same sequence took place in some spooky woods in It'd Germany. Be it would be it would be much spookier, yeah. but in the Colorado mountains, it's like not frightening at all, mm -hmm. at all. There's no tension. There's no nothing, except the mom who's terrifying. She's like, I don't like looking at her. Like no, looking at her makes me uncomfortable. Un she she's looks off putting. It's she her skin looks like it's got like it looks like it's made out of beef jerky. <laughs> And she's got these sunken in eyeballs that are like ice blue. Oh. And then she, you say it's real hair. I swear it's like a really bad I wig. Think it's a wig. Yes. It's not impossible. Keep going. Okay. And the thing is, um, her delivery is probably the worst delivery oh. in the whole fucking movie. The daughter's hot. She's got a hot butt. And she's, but it's like inappropriately so. Mm -hmm. And then she's a horrifyingly bad actress. Right. Oh, the, the scene where she or her boyfriend sneaks into uh -huh. her bedroom through the, through a stepladder or whatever. She, he's trying to obviously bang her, but she wants to stay a virgin. But then she says, okay, I'll bang you if you go on this family trip with us. And then he's like, oh, okay. He's got some of the worst acting in the world too. That and then immediately awful. we cut from her staring off into the distance at him. To immediately, they're on the road. Yeah. And they wait like an hour and a half for them. You find but, out in dialogue that yeah. they waited. With, yeah. And that's my favorite part of the movie so here's far. The, here's the Because she's like, if you just waited 15 minutes, I'm like, you're a dumb bitch. That's historically accurate. Yeah. So, like, I'm there with, with trashing on her for being an idiot. And then the funny part is, what was it? Um, They ended up... the. the the boyfriend and his buddies ended up being ahead of them. Ahead of them? How? Like, what's going on? Ahead of them on the trip, but then when they have to, they have to um, pull over because I guess the boyfriend and the friends are having car trouble. But they're like at least fifty feet, hundred feet away from the family that they assume is driving. And then she flips the off. She flips the guy off, and then he's just like, "Oh!" But there's no way she he could have seen in the fucking window. Yeah. But furthermore, it's like. May, the director's sense of humor, of course, is way the fuck off, mm -hmm. obviously. Everybody knows it's it's supposed to be so bad it's good, but so bad it's just pain in my butt. <laughs> but it's like the motivations, it's, it's back. Keep going. The motivate, go, go hit. Ah. The motivations uh, is already is fucked because it's like, she's like, oh, if you wait just 15 more minutes, 
And then she sees the guy, and she off. should be like, Oh, he's, he's following me to this faraway dangerous place. Mm. He loves me. Instead she flips him off. I'm like, why'd you do that? She's a bitch. She's an idiot. The, 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 the writer, I'm assuming, the director is also, I'm assuming, the writer. I'm not going to look at it. It's all over the place yeah. and already. And it's just like, uh. So it's, um, and then he's got these three buddies with him. We haven't said a whole lot, and I'm already, already I'm like, you already hate any of those three guys, not the guy you did. You already hate those guys yeah. because they're trying to find Nilbog or whatever on a map, and he's like, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's like, it's right there. It's like, you, you're, you've you left, hours have passed, and you don't know where you're going yeah. yet? How do you not know? What? So what is happening in this? The whole, the whole, for the whole 20 minutes, I'll be like, what? <laughs> the other thing that's confusing. What? The other thing that's confusing you. That you're having a shit fit about is keep talking. I'm is Joshua's family is in the, having an agreement with this family in Nilbog. Oh my god! <laughs> that they're switching houses for a month. But the way somebody somebody asked was going to probably it's, Joshua asked. It's just called an exchange. Like, oh, it's an exchange. Of as it, no, but she says it like it's oh, it's an exchange. Oh, is that what we're doing? As if that's a thing. Like, is that a thing in Italy? Because that's not a thing here. And then, is that a thing in Europe? Because we don't do that here in the 80s. Right. No, 90. Yeah, so this is 1990. shot in 89. So I was like, we don't, we don't do that. So once again, it's like, if they do do that in Europe, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Then we don't do that here. But here's so here. it's like, this is way off. It doesn't make any and sense. And then before your computer took a shit, we were at the point where they made it to the new house. They made it to the yeah. house. Yeah. And then they met the family. family. With like they have these like they look like four leaf clovers marks. Like, yeah, marks on their skin. But it looks like they have like fucking leprosy or something. Something. Is so they get in the pickup truck and they drive and you know the dad is like, oh you like our house? It's got you know a refrigerator and a microwave and this and that. Yeah. And then they go into the dining room area, and there's all this food prepared. Yeah. And, they and they're like, oh this is southern hospitality. And they decide they're getting ready to eat this stuff. Right. But they don't notice that you know there's like green slime or gook or frosting or whatever the budget was able to yes. afford there's this green stuff on all the food and i you know what like say if like they're eating cookies right. okay say they would they would not realize oh there's something on this but as they're eating the food grandpa shows up in the in, window in the window <laughs> he's knocking on the window and joshua has to open the window and he's saying, Joshua, you have like 30 seconds to get them to stop eating the food. And Grandpa literally snaps his fingers and freezes time. Yes. Now, I'm going back to what I meant about the green stuff is, like I said, if it was on cookies, you wouldn't notice it. But you have the sister, like, eating a corn cob frozen in time, the but there's like stuff green slime it. all over. Why the fuck wouldn't you notice you would that there's green that. slime on it? But more than that, like, when they're, again, the whole... The whole film would be better shot in Europe, obviously. But like, as they're pulling into town, they they mention earlier in the film, it's like a quiet town, mm -hmm. very secluded, not a lot of people in it. Mm -hmm. And then you've got rednecks mm -hmm. for the, the spooky people. That's, yeah, they're all holed up in the like rednecks are, uh, are fun to point at, but they're not spooky. No. And so neither is the family. They're acting weird, but they're, it's they, like the the whole feel, the mm -hmm. vibe is wrong. So again, you shoot this in Europe. You cast it in the, you know, you set it in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. You're in some spooky faraway land. They re roll in and they're in their horse and buggy mm -hmm. and carriage, and the, you know, all the townspeople are just staring at them and looking at the window. Then it's like, oh, this makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's the Colorado or the California mountains in the in 1990, and it's just like it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of dudes and, and with baseball caps and stuff mm -hmm. that they cast. Like, what the fuck? Like, why would you do this? Why would you even... You know what the best part is? You still would, have an hour and ten minutes. You still have an hour and tip. But it's like, for, okay, so a quarter million dollars, you go back in, back in the day. You could have shot this in a back lot. Mm -hmm. You know, because young, young uh, Dr. Frank... What was the Frankenstein? Was it the Dr. Frankenstein? Mel Brooks. Oh, Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. That was shot in a back lot in Hollywood, mm -hmm. I'm sure. And not a, not a tremendous budget, I'm sure. This, uh, this they, is no, they still made it look more like... This is no like, joke. This is like Ed Wood budget. Yes. It really is. But the, my point being is that within your budgetary constraints, mm -hmm. you could have shot, you could have made this work. Mm -hmm. What he's trying to do 
He's just an incompetent director. Mm -hmm. So that's the first 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I got a question. How many times, like I said, we said this in our prelude uh, before we watched this film. You, uh, This was suggested by our one fan, our Gollum. One fan. How many times have you said, fuck you, Gollum, in I've 20 been, minutes? I've been Gollum, sir. I love you, buddy, but I've been cursing your name this whole time. Oh, we should have recorded it. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, this is horrible. Fucking Gollum. Jesus Christ. And then he wa wants us to watch things. But we're going to get back to the film mm -hmm. and try to f try our best to finish this film and um, tell you what we think about the over an hour or more that we have to go. So, see you in a bit, kids. Hopefully. Yeah, maybe.